Well, if you're dreaming of owning your own cabin, now is a great time to turn your fantasy into a rustic reality. Or maybe you already own a cabin, but you're looking to upgrade. Our next guest has some tips on how to make it all come true. Joining me right now is real estate professional Kyle White from Remax Advantage Plus. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Market seems to be really hot with cabins. Mm -hmm. So give us kind of a little brief overview on that. Well, the market is very strong right now in cabins, uh, just like it has been in the regular uh, real estate market over the past mm -hmm. few years here in the Twin Cities. The cabin market is usually a year or two behind the regular market. So this year, we're starting to see huge appreciation on cabin properties. So pre-recession values, maybe? Not there yet, but okay. maybe a couple more years will be there. All right. So where are some of the best places to buy this time of year? Well, what I always tell my clients is if you're looking for hunting land, uh, the best time to buy it is the off-season times, like mm -hmm. right now. So if you're looking for an acreage property or hunting property, right now is the best time. If you're looking mm -hmm. for a lake property, you're going to be competing with everybody because mm -hmm. everybody wants a lake property right now. Well, so. and they do. So where do I start? Well, I got a few tips for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the main thing is going to be if you have cash for a cabin, mm -hmm. pay cash. That's mm -hmm. a huge advantage. Right. The other thing is closing date. If you're flexible on your closing date, that's really going to help you negotiate with a seller. Some mm -hmm. sellers want to close quickly, and so if you can close quickly, you can a lot of times get a better price. Mm -hmm. And that's if, when the cash is king portion of it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or if you're financing a line and mm -hmm. get it done quickly. So okay. that's definitely an advantage. Um, some other sellers may want to push it out a little while mm -hmm. because they might want to spend one last uh, long weekend with their family mm -hmm. at a family vacation, at a mm -hmm. family cabin. So mm -hmm. that's the first tip. Uh, the second thing I would tell you to do is uh, be realistic mm -hmm. on what you want out of a property. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're very specific on the lake and the specific type of property you want, you don't have a lot of options, so you may have to pay a little bit higher price or a premium price. When well, you say be, be realistic, if you mm -hmm. have family, friends that are on that lake, you got to be realistic about making sure maybe you won't be their neighbor. You, may, you might not be their neighbor, and mm -hmm. you might not get to you know, really pick out the price you want mm -hmm. because you don't have as many options. However, if you're looking for in a general vicinity and you're okay with a fixer-upper, something like mm -hmm. that, there's a lot more options out there for you. Mm -hmm. So you can really dive in and find the right property at the best possible price. Are we talking so, the, the farther away we get from the Twin Cities, the lower the price goes, or how does that work? Not always. It really depends on the lake. I mean, Lake Vermilion is a long ways away, but it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, so the bigger lakes are typically more expensive, but there are some hidden gems. If you go out to Wisconsin, you don't have to go nearly as far to find good prices as you do, say, in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, the last tip I would tell you to do would be to, you know, enlist a good detective. Um, such as a, a strong real estate agent that's really going to do their homework and dive in for you and try to find you properties that aren't even on the market yet. Because mm -hmm. the best deals, the hidden gems, are the ones that aren't even for sale yet. Mm -hmm. But a good real estate agent is going to know how to find those. And what's realistic when it comes to finding uh, and, and expecting certain mm -hmm. things from your real estate agent? Because, you know, real estate agents will look for you, but, you know, it's also you got to, what do you want to hear from a client? As to, do you want a very specific list? Do you want a general list? Well, people give you specifics, and then they always deviate from those specifics. Right. So giving us an idea is probably the best idea. Because there's no mm -hmm. such thing as a perfect property for someone. You know, they say that 80% of the property, is, you find a property that's 80% of your criteria, and mm -hmm. the last 20% is what you put into it. Okay. So you, we try to get a general idea, and then what we do is we go out and look at the properties, and we try to pinpoint, you know, here's the benefits, here's the things you might not like, but let's, let's go take a look at it. All right. Thank so. you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. For more information, go to carolovin.com. We've created a direct link on our show page. You'll find us under the local tab. Just click on Quick Links.